What's up, Papa? Ah, thank you for the tacos. Thank <clears throat> you for the coming. Thank you. For <clears throat> I had to enjoy. clear my throat, man. It's, it's a lot of cheese and <clears throat> there's that goodness good in that taco. No, that was like six points. You're all right. <laughs> six. <laughs> Those were like six weight watcher points. So you were talking in the car on the way up here that I was telling you, I was just starting to tell you that one night I go on Twitter and I'm minding my own business and I see that Fluffy, the nicest guy in the world, puts up. Hi, guys. Got the weekend off. You know, going to chill with my dog. I just went to Chick-fil-A to stock up for Sunday or something. And I and I looked at that tweet and I go, because <laughs> somebody had come up to me like a week earlier and said, because they said to me, you know, Burbank has a new Chick-fil-A. And in the same sentence, they go, but it's not cool to eat there. Really? And I was like, I didn't know it wasn't cool. I did, yeah, I did so not know. I did not know, okay? But I heard it wasn't mm. hip to eat there. Like, uh, hipsters don't eat there. A couple of white people have boycotted it. But there's lines out the... Out the Doesn't uh, matter. That's oh. why people, that's why they do that. <laughs> okay. When you boycott something, you're just giving it more fucking business. Okay. Remember when they, boy, you're too young, when they boycotted Dice. Oh, he that, went from he went from Madison Square Garden yeah, to arena. You you ban you ban him from MTV, and exactly he's selling out. He's MSG. selling out everything. So it's it's a weird psychology to it, you know. When the guy from the Celtics snorted the coke and he died, <laughs> Lenny Bias. The next day, everybody had cocaine that killed Lenny Bias. Everybody wanted the cocaine that killed Lenny Bias. It just killed the motherfucker. But you are the nicest, sweetest guy in the world. G rated comedy. You do like a fucking five or thirty in the afternoon for grandmothers you wrote the most <laughs> innocent tweet in the world and i included a photo of my dog i basically said Your i was, gonna, was, I was gonna go get my i was gonna go get my little nuggets some nuggets and yes i without knowing i had posted uh you know at chick-fil-a because uh, here's my thing is anytime i'm eating somewhere i'm doing something and it's organic i love to to uh put the uh the, the handle so in case the company does see it, they know that I'm a legit uh, fan of their product or whatever it is, and I'm not asking for anything. But, hey, should they send some free gift cards? I'm not going to say no to it. I, you know, I, I, I've gotten some amazing sponsorship by just being, you know, real with something. If I'm a fan of something, I let people know. And so, yeah, I posted a picture of my little chihuahua, and I'm, I'm going to get the little nuggets, some nuggets from Chick-fil-A. And next thing you know. I even saw a motherfucker that said, I'm not following you no more. <laughs> oh, like my something about God. throwing your CDs away. Really? Like, I oh, mean, my I, God. I, I, and, and, and all sincerity, I, I had no, I, why would I intentionally try to destroy myself by putting something out? I, I did not know. I honestly, I tell people I'm more hungry than woke. <laughs> okay, I am more hungry than woke. I'm sorry, I'm not as hip to everything, and I did not know. You I got, know now. You got static for about three I got, days. Yeah, though. it was bad. It was. It bad. was bad. And I'm like, oh my god! I wrote a, a tweet about sucking the ink out of Miss Obama's pussy, <laughs> and nobody said nothing. Like people just froze. I was waiting for Twitter just to shut me down. <laughs> oh my god! And nobody said nothing. You know, like, and it's just so weird what you can say. And what you can't say anymore, and so I just I, I could I could not believe it, it messed me up so bad because I'm thinking to myself, really is is it that bad? It's is that it bad? You know, and I and I watch someone like like Chappelle, who I think is a, is a comedy genius, and then he'll go up there and, and some of the things he talks about are very controversial and, and clearly rub people the wrong way, but yet still selling out. So he just won a Grammy. Before that, he won some other Peabody. I forget Mark what award he won. Yeah. Yes. So really, he can get away with you know pushing the envelope to the next level. But I put an innocent tweet where I, I'm. It's a fat dude talking about chicken nuggets. I think you know where my mind was at. And and I what caught, I caught so much you flat. got? What was the worst? Oh, I was getting people saying, "Yeah, we're gonna boycott your show." I was getting people <laughs> saying, uh, uh, "How could you? We thought more of you than this." Now, do you, you know, know the reason behind all this? I know now. What is but, it? What did you uh, that, get? You know that uh, I guess Chick Fil A was paying. Uh, they were they were donating money to organizations that were against you know gay the gay community. There was you know that they were uh, supporting. Um, Wow, what is it to try to keep them uh, try to straighten out the way that they think you know supposedly I, I don't know they were they were donating money to to something that was against the gay community I I, 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 I don't want to claim to know that I know exactly why but I know it wasn't good I know it wasn't good but do you think that that it's on social media because I think like social media they just they're not really angry but they're just there and they because when Chappelle does it on stage 
they'd have to like actually get onto Twitter. But if they're already on Twitter, do they think it's just fake anger? They're not really mad at you. Like if they saw you at Chick Fil A, they'd probably be happy to see you. I, you know what? I've never been at a Chick Fil A and, and had somebody be upset with me. Uh, if anything, they'd offer to, to buy my my meal, which I think is cool. Um, it's it's one of those things where I I did not know, and and like I said, I wasn't trying to stir anything up, but. I think a lot of times, sometimes, you know, people want attention, and I think going after someone is probably the easiest way. I went to my wife. <laughs> my wife is white. So I said, to her, let me ask you a question. What's the deal with Chick-fil-A? And she knows everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. my wife knows everything white. And she's like, well, number one, they don't, co- their insurance doesn't cover women abortions. And number two, they don't like <laughs> gay people. So I wrote a whole bit about it. But the funny thing about the, oh, my God. Oh, I was going to tell you something I forgot. See, that's why you don't smoke pot of these tacos before a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I walk in, I'm like, what's with all the food? And I never say that. I walk in here, I'm like, there's food everywhere. <laughs> you know, this is nice to have you here. It's good to see you. I feel like I haven't seen my brother from Cuba, and you came back after three years. And, I almost uh, didn't survive our last uh, our last podcast. What happened? You left. I heard you guys went and ate turkey. <laughs> what do you mean? What? First of all, you you uh, introduced me to this cookie. I think you were you were you were sponsored, or you were doing something with this company at the time. Uh, some Chiba Chew, I think, was it? Chiba Chew, okay. And then there was some cookie, and you're like, Gabriel, look at this is cookie right here. It's delicious. You should try some. And I took the cookie, and I, you know, you don't. I don't just pinch the cookie and eat a piece of the cookie. If you had me a cookie, the whole cookie's going down. And I guess for whatever reason, it had a certain level of whatever in it. I ate the whole cookie, right? I was fine when I left. And when I got on the five, man, <laughs> I've never been more grateful for traffic <laughs> in my life because I, I, I drove about eight miles an hour the whole way home. It hit me on the five. I thought you guys stopped and got something to eat. Man, no. No. Oh. No, that cookie. That cookie. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so like, here you go, Joe Diaz podcast. I ain't eating no more cookies. No, I don't No, and it. I got people to drive now. <laughs> and that's why I said, I said, I no more cookies, because I know you were scared for a long time. I was so scared. You were scared. like, why I was go over that there? I'm not going to go over there to get tortured. I'm not going to go over there. I don't blame you, man. But that cookie, though. Wow. Sounds like the SoCon cookies we were eating. Yeah, Did that was... frosting on top of it? Who I don't remember. Knows? I just remember I ate a whole cookie. Because because you guys were looking at me like it, you, that look when like <laughs> like you wasn't supposed to eat the whole cookie because like you knew what the future held. We're going in like fucking Marines. You understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.